it's almost Rosh Hashanah. On Rosh Hashanah, we're going to eat apple and honey. We're going to pray. We're going to, to go to Tashlich at the water. But the highlight of the day is the mitzvah of hearing the sound of the shofar. The shofar is a call to action. But it's two calls to action. It's a call from God to us. And it's a call from us to God. Let's explore both of those. God calls to us to wake up. He asks us to shift. He asks us to take the next step in our journey of growth. But there are two interesting laws when it comes to the shofar cited in the Mishnah. In ancient times under Roman rule, Jews were often forced to blow the shofar in hiding, in dungeons, in pits. And the Mishnah tells us that if someone hears the voice of the shofar coming from a dungeon, coming from a, a pit, but he hears the echo, not the shofar itself, that's not kosher. It has to be the sounds of the shofar, not an echo. Another interesting law with shofar, Kol HaKolot Kshirim says the Mishnah, all voices of the shofar, all sounds are kosher. It doesn't have to be very musical and melodious. If you produce the, rats, the right sounds from the shofar, no matter what they sound like, it's okay. Let's put those two laws together. God is asking us to change. He's asking us to commit to do something in the coming year, another mitzvah, an improved relationship, something within our personality, just to improve one more step in our spiritual growth, in our personal growth. But he says, you've got to just commit in a way where you absorb the message. Don't just do it superficially. An echo is something that rebounds. It's got to be a real sound. A, re a real sound is something that is absorbed. That little change that you make, absorb it, internalize it, feel it, experience it. But the Mishnah says, any sound is kosher. As long as we make a change, we don't have to be, become transformed overnight. Just one small step in the journey of growth, in the journey of change, which we internalize and absorb. But if it's any change, one move, one shift, God welcomes it and it's fantastic. All sounds of the shofar are okay. That's God's call to us, which we will heed. But then there's our call to God. The shofar we are taught is a cry that comes from the essence of the soul. It's a cry of a baby to a parent that cannot even be articulated in words. It's just that cry coming from the essence of the soul where words can't even reach, penetrating and melting the heart of a parent. There's a little story of a person in a shtetl, that there were a few children in the shtetl and no teacher to teach the kids. So one of the parents who was a bit knowledgeable taught the class himself. He was a strict teacher, a stern teacher. One day he's sitting in his study in his desk when his child knocks on the door and says, Father, can I speak to you for a moment? He says, yes, what is it? He says to his father, could I ask you a favor? Could you please talk to my teacher and remind him that he's also my father? A father's love for a child is unconditional. It's essential, it's intrinsic. On Rosh Hashanah, God calls to us and we listen. The mitzvah is to listen to the shofar. We absorb the message and we commit each one in our own way to do something more positive in the year ahead. But at the same time, God listens to our shofar, to our call, and his heart, so to speak, is melted as he sees his only children, the Jewish people, trying their best. His love for us is unconditional. And when he hears our cry to him, our call to him, he blesses us with a shana tova umetuka, a good and sweet year, a year of blessing, a year of happiness, a year of all good things. The two calls are there. We will heed his call to us as best we can, but he will definitely hear our call to him and he will bless us. And I wish you all with that blessing of a Shana Tova Mutaka, a good and sweet year, a year of blessings, a year of happiness, a year of health, a year of good spiritual growth, a year of all blessings and all good things. On behalf of everyone, to you, to your families, to the whole of Am Yisrael, and indeed to the whole world, Shana Tova.